Okay. Okay, Hung, I think we're on recording. Yes. This building is in kind of a little cul-de-sac, if you will. There's just two buildings in this area. There's kind of the main road of the community. It's a circle. So there's the main road. You pull in here and there's kind of a loop that goes between this building over there, which is number 19, I think it says, and the building where the subject property is, number 18. We're looking into the sun, so this might be a, a little a little uh, blurry, but uh, we've got uh, hardy board siding, lap siding, which is kind of nice. I don't know why they're getting such rusty uh, banisters here, which that doesn't look real good, but a coat of paint would make them look a lot better. This is <clears throat> the breezeway that leads to I think four units down here on the ground level. Uh, I just passed the subject unit on the right, but I'll go past to show that it actually sits on a ha ha lake. Well, that's what we call it around here, but a retention pond. Looks like it could uh, hold a lot more water. And, and we've just had a pretty good rain, so that must be kind of how it looks year round. Anyway, turning back around, here we come to unit 1818. I like that number. And ground floor as I mentioned as we come in this is a little tile foyer uh, I mentioned Montreux and you might not know Montreux real well but I know it quite well and this is so similar you turn to the right just like in Montreux there's the washer and dryer that I even doubt works but there's the washer and dryer this is a, a fairly roomy laundry room uh, there's the air conditioning system which is built into the wall which I have no idea how that's working there's uh where the water heater sits underneath the air conditioner when it used to be there uh there's a knob missing opening this this is the guest bath that is immediately as you walk in uh there's the two sinks which is real nice for a guest bath and a condo but there's missing the uh fixture there's also missing two cabinet doors for this guest bath there's a very casually dressed jamie uh, this good nice size mirror is here of course uh, towel racks are here light fixtures are here so they didn't take everything they just were kind of selective and took some things I'm just gonna see it I guess I should know the water wouldn't be on hopefully they didn't you know sometimes people put things down the drain just to be kind of nasty there's the toilet missing uh, hopefully there's nothing down the drains and everything's fine in that regard there's a guest bedroom closet which is pretty nice size walk-in closet we do have clouded fogged windows unfortunately that's just a product of the builder having used cheap windows yeah they're the same brand that I have in my house and I'm having troubles with mine they just the seal breaks and then you get the cloudiness which uh, pretty much the only way to get around that is replace the windows but that just kind of obscures the window makes it more private right ha 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 so there's the lake through the cloudy windows. There's the, the lake and then uh, kind of the back of the property. So this to me seems like a pretty nice location. You're, you're not looking out onto, in fact, I didn't see any of the air conditioner units. I guess they're out there somewhere, but I don't see them. They might be around the corner of the building. So I'm talking so much. Here's the uh, kitchen, obviously. <clears throat> missing light above the kitchen, missing light above the dining area, missing, uh, elements in the stove missing uh, drawer missing door cabinet doors as well as the blanks i was talking about missing spout on the uh, faucet missing lower panel on the uh, dishwasher i mean the easier thing to do is just figure that the appliances don't work and then you won't have surprises you know i mentioned that this opens kind of backwards because it opens into the kitchen usually i would think you'd want it opening on this side from in, within the kitchen so that makes me wonder if that was rolled in there later it smells it's got almost a new smell in that fridge i don't mean to say it's new it just smells new uh who knows so uh you know a little tile floor in the kitchen which is again so much like mantra there is the air conditioner uh and pulling this back it looks like the unit is in there uh, I, the, the uh, thermostat's missing so it's just hard to say on that you have to take a guess if you figure you don't have one then you're probably better off there's a fan missing they, they left the dang on bracket that's so stupid because uh, it's a little hard to hang the fan without the bracket 
in the guest bedroom there's a smoke alarm missing and there's the uh, ceiling fixture missing uh, in the master ah look at that they left the ceiling fixture which unbelievable they never had a fan in the master but they did take the smoke alarm so it's kind of haphazard uh, theft there's the view at the master which is kind of nice uh, I mentioned there's blinds in those windows they're just pulled up tight there's their cheap blinds uh, and looking in here there's one missing so so far yep they're both in there so far just one blind missing uh, by the way this is where the desk would be this little niche right here ordinarily would have a, a piece of counter installed and that would be the desk there ain't no desk as we say down here in Jacksonville now this to me is the master bath although it doesn't have the garden tub the other one had a garden tub this just has tub shower so I guess they uh, you know if you didn't get the master then you do uh, you got the bigger tub there's the two blanks I mentioned are missing those are not actually drawers because they're under a sink but there's two blanks missing and these are so basic that I mentioned uh, I, I would see having a carpenter just make you some rather than try to go to a cabinet manufacturer and find and duplicate them. I mentioned there was two sections of shelving missing. See, so you've got wire shelving. There's one. There's one. There should be one in the middle. Ta-da! There isn't. So it's missing a piece of shelving. All the door hardware seems to be in here. Oh, we're missing a piece of shelving in the two pieces of shelving in the linen closet. Just a pain in the butt because you know, there's not much to replacing those at all. You just got to take the time to do it and you know a little bit of money uh, I mentioned the painting in these rooms seems pretty darn good hopefully you get a sense of that as I twirl around but really uh, the paint not bad not bad at all I don't know Hung, you might have lucked into another one I mean <laughs> this is so much cleaner and nicer than uh, Timberland oh my golly of course it's a whole different price but instead of being a one bedroom it's a two bedroom so that's kind of it we're walking back I'm walking back through just kind of recapping see if I'm missing anything up oh, missing a shower head uh, but in this closet for some reason they, they left the shelving why would that be who knows um, that seems to be it so there you go that's the scoop if you figure for the worst, plan for the worst, then you should be all right. Uh, and I'll conclude this another fine video production from JBW Studios. See you later. Bye.